He says, you should not need a sign. Oh, it's not to be able to believe it. Oh, it's not to be able to believe in you. We have not many ideas that the people have. All we want is to love you, says the planter of Zebedee passionately. But the people you approach in a simple, friendly way, what I do without making them feel uneasy, as I may do, who do they say that I am? And who do you, they say the Son of Man is? Going over here. It says, When the Savior came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, when the Savior went out with his disciples into the towns or villages of Caesarea, Caesarea Philippi, and by the way on the, were on the road, he asked his disciples. And it came to pass as he was alone praying, and his disciples joined him. He asked them, saying, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do people say that I, the Son of Man, am? Saying, asking, saying, to them, by the way on the road, he asked his disciples, saying to them, Who do people say that I am? He asked them, saying, Who say the crowds that I am? That the people you approach in a simple, friendly way, more than I do, without making them feel uneasy, as I may do, who do they say that I am? Who do they say the Son of Man is? And they say, And they said, And they answered, some, They answered, And they said, some say that you are John the Baptist or Immerser. Some others say, Eliyahu, his most high is the I am who am. And still others, Jeremiah, one of the prophets. The answer said, Holy favor the Baptist or Immerser. But some others say, Eliyahu. And others, one of the prophets. John the Baptist or Immerser. But some others say, Elijah. And still others say that one of the old prophets is risen again or come back to life. Some say that you are eternal savior, that is the anointed king, and they are the best. Some say that you are a prophet, some say only some only a rabbi, others and you know say that you are mad and possessed. Some call you by the name the same name that you use and they say son of man, and some say that that is not possible and it goes on and on. And then or they do not want to admit that God Almighty has sent his almighty son to the earth. You said so yesterday. Only those will believe who are convinced of the infinite goodness of God. Israel believes more in God almighty's severity, punishment, than his goodness, says Bartholomew again. Yes, they feel so undeserving that they consider it impossible that God has been so good as to send his word to save them. It continues on. And then he says, And he said to them, But whom say you that I am? And he said to them, But what about you? But who say you that I am? He said to them, But what about you? Who say you that I am? And who do you say that I, and who do you say that I am? Tell me your own personal opinion, without taking into account my words or the words of other people. If you are compelled to judge me, who would you say that I am? And Reed Stone answered and said, You are the anointed, the almighty son of the living God, almighty. And Stone answered and said to him, You are the anointed one. Stone answered and said, The anointed of God. <clears throat> you are the anointed king, the almighty son of the living God, exclaimed Stone, kneeling down with his arms stretched upwards towards Holy Savior, looks at him with his face bright with love, and who bends to raise, embrace him, saying... And he told Savior, answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood, or man or human being, has not revealed it to you. But it was my Father Almighty which is in heaven. <clears throat> Read, son of Jonah, you are a happy man, because it was not the flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my Father Almighty in heaven. Since the first day you came with me, you have been asking yourself that question, and because you are simple and honest, you have been able to understand and accept the reply that came to you from heaven. And he continues on with that. He said to them, And I also say to you that you are stone, and upon this rock I will build my church or community, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it or overcome it. I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you shall bind or prohibit on earth shall be bound or prohibited in heaven. Whatever you shall loose or permit on earth shall be loosed or permitted in heaven. Uh, 
I showed no sign of pow power to you as I did with Philip, Nathaniel, Simon, Kenyon, Thomas, and divine praise who saw them. You are not subdued by my will as embraced the publican was, and yet you exclaimed, He is the anointed. You believe since the first moment you saw me, and your faith is, was never shaken. That is why I called you stone. That is why I knew stone. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound also in heaven. Whatever you loose on the earth shall be loosed also in heaven. O prudent, faithful man, whose heart was able to see. And from this moment you are the head, to whom obedience and respect are due to another, myself, and proclaim him such before all of you. If eternal favor crushed stone under a hailstorm of report, reproaches, stone would not have wept so copiously. He is weeping and is shaken by sobs, with his face on holy favor's chest. His weeping can be compared only to the tears he will shed in his grief for denying unlimited salvation. He now weeps for many good, humble feelings. A little of the old Simon, the fisherman of House of the Twin Fig Tree, who had la laughed incredulously and facetiously at his brother's first announcement, saying, Of course, the Messiah would appear just to you. A good little of the old Simon crumbles under those tears, and from his vanishing, frail human nature, stone appears more and more clearly the pontiff of the Church of Christ. When he raises his shy, embarrassed face, he can make only one gesture to say everything, to promise everything, to strengthen himself completely for his new ministry. He throws his arms around eternal Savior's neck, compelling him to bend and kiss him, mingling his somewhat bristly, grizzled hair and beard with the soft golden hair and beard of holy salvation. He looks at holy salvation with his large, loving, imploring and adoring eyes, with still shining and red with tears, holding the master's ascetic face bent over his own in his rough, large, stumpy hands, so it were a vase from which a vital liquid pours forth. And then later I said, but don't tell anyone that I told you. So, uh, 23rd of October, 1987. I was I was this morning wondering how eternal salvation must have felt when the Pharisees never believed him and how difficult it must have been for him to convince them that he was actually the Almighty Son of God Almighty. How misunderstood he was by them. It was beyond man's capacity to comprehend that it was possible at their time. They simply would not understand or accept such a miracle. And how many are now, un and how many now are, or and how many? And the God answers saying, "And how many now understand or believe fully in my message?" She says, "Quite a few do, more than those who do not." Tell me, which number is greater of those who listen, believe, and understand fully my message? My sheep or my lambs? Sheep, saints, adults, lambs, simple people, who are more willing to hear. I find that your Lambs are more willing by experience now. Today is like yesterday. Daughter, times have not changed. Today is like yesterday. When I was on earth in flesh, some believed in me as another prophet. Only few believed in me as the anointed one, Messiah. When the Pharisees heard me, they rushed to stone me for blasphemy. And now, child of the king, why are you surprised at what people believe? You come from me, and today I am sending you as my bearer with my message of peace and love. I come to unite my church, but today is being like yesterday. <clears throat> and he continues on <clears throat> with uh, speaking about how the church is not listening, about unifying. He asks, at least unify the dates of Easter. If you just do that, I'll do all the rest to unify the church. 
still they're not listening. Not even for unifying the dates of Easter. Not even listening for that. Many of them. That's why God will expel many of them out of his church and says, you're no longer in my church. You have been keeping my church divided and ruined. Out of here. Get out. 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 <clears throat> Eventually he'll, he'll say that if they do not repent. But right now he's trying to get them to repent, and some of them are. And, and, and they're changing, and they're trying to unify God's church. But they're up with opposition. Drunk with the blood of the saints and all those who witness on my divinity. Don't you see? To complete their work of destruction and crown it with success, they'll have to remove Peter's chair and the one who sits on it. Their aim is to destroy my church. But do not be afraid. I had promised that the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. Matthew 16, verse 18. Yes, this is what is happening now. The leaders of destruction glitching in their scholarships degrees are foul. The leaders of destruction glitching in their scholarships degrees are foul. The leaders of destruction glitching in their scholarships degrees are foul. And the stench has covered the entire world now. It goes on saying that they are like Second Thessalonians 2, 9, etc., um, there is uh, 31st of January 1991 wait a minute go back Okay, realize too that it was not flesh and blood that revealed to you the truths, the eminence and the grace of these messages of your era for your salvation and made you believe them, but the Father Almighty Himself by His grace upon you. So if your neighbor has not yet been stamped with the seal of the Holy Almighty Spirit, of grace pray that he too receives this grace for his conversion and enters into the kingdom of God Almighty God Almighty is calling everyone to himself God is calling everyone to himself God Almighty is calling everyone to himself Try to understand God Almighty's call of peace, of peace, of peace, of peace. I exhort you to pray for peace, for peace, for peace. Be zealous for peace, for peace, for peace. Blessed children, let me tell you once more that I need your prayers of peace. Let me tell you that once more that I need your prayers of peace. Let me tell you once more that I need your prayers of peace. For I take them all and offer them as a bouquet of spring flowers to the Almighty. Your prayers do not go in vain. They are a real glory to God Almighty. They are proof of your love. Satan is very powerful and his fierce anger is pursuing all the first fruits of the Lord. Those who bear witness for unlimited salvation. Unlimited salvation in his earlier messages had made you understand how Satan is trying to extinguish the small flame that is left in this world and leave you without light, without happiness.
He, without mercy, he is blaspheming all God Almighty's powers. And then, okay. Uh, 24th of October, My names are holy. The anointed kings, different names. Pantocrator. Divine heart. Ixus. Alpha and Omega. Emmanuel, etc. But men have patronized me and have expelled me from my own house, my own city, and now from my own sanctuary. Not only the anointed king is thrown out from his own house because of a question of terminology, but in the West, some have started to abolish the perpetual sacrifice. They are oppressing me and weighing heavily on me. Overweening with pride, they are content to live in a desert. But I mean in these coming days to display the holiness of my great name, which is, because of your division, profaned. I tell you, child, do you see how your people are living undisturbed and in an appalling lethargy when it comes to work for unity? The Greek Orthodox skipped many of the ecumenical meetings. I will allow no more of this. I am going to reach out my hand, even to the remotest parts of your nation, and overthrow these traitors. Traitors signify in this context those who were, look after their own interests and not the anointed king's interests. <sighs> Living undisturbed in an appalling lethargy when it comes to work for unity, I will allow no more of this. I'm going to reach out my hand even to the remotest parts of your nation and overthrow these traitors that hinder my people to unite. These traitors signify in this context those who will look after their interests and not the anointed king's interests. I have raised you to be a sign of unity, a sign of my mercy, a sign of my power. But the passions of their ostentatious pride has turned them blind. Today I can say, let their bones burn and take revenge. I can whittle your nation, but in my mercy and for the sake of my love, I will raise from the east at least one who will say to, the, to his brother, the Western brother, Come and tread on my ground. Come and eat from my table. Come and drink with me. My vats are overflowing with new wine. Let's pasture our lambs together and make an Eden of our pastures, our God Almighty. See what our hands have made out of your sanctuary. My house in the West is being plundered. I had asked them to assemble under Peter Stone, message of June 3rd, 1988, but they have not understood and are doing the contrary. Many from within that house are saying, why is it that we have to have a guide? Reference for message of May 16th, 1988. Especially this guide. I had warned you 
that cardinals will turn against cardinals, bishops against bishops, and priests against priests. I selected Peter Stone to feed and guard my lambs, but the spirit of rebellion thriving now has reached its peak of rebellion. This was the great tribulation I was warning of. Reference from message of May 16, 1988. <clears throat> my house in the west is being plundered but the wind from the east will rise and together with my breath will strip the plunderer many members of your nation object to my call of unity and have accustomed their steps to walk their own way they call themselves rich but then where are their riches how is it that you how is it you have become a degenerate vine can you say that you have not sinned? Is there a single place where you have not sinned? You! 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 The friend of my saint. The child of my mother. Why have you become so obstinate? What are your endless ceremonies to me when you give me praise by lip service? <clears throat> it continues on. Now, um, this is 8th of November, The child of the king, my child of the king, victim of my soul, victim of my heart. Bear my sufferings and share them with me. Drink from my cup. Feel my scourgers, beloved of my soul. What will I not do for you out of love? I will allow you to share my sufferings. I have chosen you to be the victim of my Bleeding heart. This is um, 8th of November 1987. Also, 8th of November 87 with scourging. Put in the scourging decade. All the anguishes, denials, mockeries your soul can bear. Come, you will share my cross. I am your only love. I have reached my goal. Allow me to be the sweet torture of your mind and soul. You please me. But now I have extirpated all my rivals. They are all gone. None are left. It is I, your unlimited salvation, only left with you. How I delight. And now let me love you without restraint. Let me reign over you. I have found a place for my greatness and bounty. I do not love you for what you are, but for what you are not. Come, your nothingness infatuates me. Your incapacity leaves me speechless. Lord, I feel embarrassed. Child of the King, never seek to be something. Stay nothing, for every divine work I will accomplish will be purely mine and not yours. My church will be one. Under one authority! Under one authority. Under one authority. Have I myself not asked Peter Stone to feed my lambs? Have I not chosen him to feed my sheep? Have I myself not uttered these words? Your stone, Peter. And on this rock I will build my church. <clears throat> he says, Why this arrogance among the nations, these futile plots among the people? I had selected Peter, a man after my own heart, the rock on whom I would build my church. 
Why then distort my command? Who are you referring to, Lord? I am speaking to those who scheme and plot against my foundation. Do you not realize that your plots will lay futile? I don't know whom you are referring to. I know, child of the king. All this is obscure to you, but it is as clear as day for those deceivers. My eyes are fixed upon them, my sword lifted and ready to strike. They know themselves and believe me. Their days are numbered. <clears throat> okay. Um, 17th of March, Now, uh, 17 March saying those people come from the deceiver I have laid down my foundation on Peter the rock and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it if anyone comes your way and tells you move from your fidelity out for this Pope to another sounds another sound movement do not move beware the east of the deceiver may be powerful might taste good the reality is of deadly deception, deadly deception, deadly deception, deadly deception. Not allow anyone to deceive you. Resist the devil's tactics. For today, my priests, you will have to conquer evil with the strength you receive from me, who am the truth. You will be in a spiritual war as never before with an army which originates from the powers of darkness. Pray, my loved ones, all the time. I am is with you. And then going on to 19th of March, I think it's 19th of March 1993, or it's 1998. Let's see, it's 1998. I think it was 19th of March, 1993, if I could find. Yes, I did. So now I turn, how much faith will there be left? And I come. It was Matthew 16, verse 6. We're looking for Matthew 16, 13 here. Um, I think that, we'll skip that one. And we'll go on to... Oh, 19th of March, 1988. That's, there we go. 19th of March, 1988. Um, if we can get to it fast enough. It'll be on the next 